This week on Supercars Talk, all the predictions from last week have come true. Fraser is in, Kostiki is out, and Stanaway gets his co-driver gig. The big news this week, Richie Stanaway has been confirmed as Garth Tander's replacement as Triple H's uh, co-driver at uh, Bathurst and Sandown this year. It's great to say, you know, a co-driver co gig um, rather than just a, you know, a Bathurst gig kind of thing. Um, yeah, uh, Shane Van Gisbergen has got another great teammate there. Um, you can imagine this is going to be a very strong pairing going off what Richie did in that Erebus car this year. With you know, There was preparation, but you know he had been out of the saddle for quite a while. Um, you can imagine that Triple Eight will have him integrated a lot better this year because there won't be the same kind of restrictions and that that they have had with travelling over the last couple of years. Um, and if it is wet, this uh, lineup could be very very uh, dynamite. A um, little bit of a, a strange one, though. It did look like, you know, Garth was kind of angling. Um, he wanted to be there, but Jamie wouldn't commit to him uh, driving with Shane in the Enduros, that maybe Jamie was angling for himself to get that seat. And then they've come straight out um, and confirmed that it will be Richie and Shane in that one car. Uh, I, ju I just thought that was a, a little bit strange. If that is the reason that, you know, you know, Garth did make the move and then straight away it is, you know, Richie will be jumping in that 97 car. And just to confirm in case anyone was confused about it, Shane will be running the 97 this year, not the number one. Um, he, after he tried the number one in Adelaide, I don't think he is ever going to uh, shy away from running the 97 again and uh, zero chance of him running in number one. The other little question to come out of that is now what happens with the boost wild card that Peter Adderton wanted to run for Richie during the year. Um, I have heard there is still a strong possibility that this will run uh, at the Gold Coast Boost sponsored event, um, but there probably won't be the same kind of push for more wild cards during the year. And obviously there won't be the enduro campaign that they were talking about uh, earlier on in the year. Declan Fraser has been confirmed that he will be running the Trady Mustang out of Tickford. Um, he will will be Jake Kosecki's replacement who has been stood down after the uh, altercation he had with Scott Pye at the Gala Awards uh, dinner uh, late last year. Um, in a nice twist of fate here, um, Decker is actually a tradie. Uh, he's a qualified electrician, so uh, very appropriate that he will be stepping into the tradie Mustang next year. And also, interestingly, Tickford will be running three Super 2 champions in their four cars uh, this year. Uh, Cam Waters and Tom Randall also previously winning the Super 2 championship uh, with obviously James Courtney, the odd man out. Uh, he uh, um, yeah, his was a bit of an um, unnormal run uh, into supercars, obviously, with him going overseas and uh, nearly getting to Formula 1 actually getting that testing gig and uh, having that uh, major accident and then having to kind of come back home uh, to resurrect his career. Um, it's also been confirmed that Kirk Kostecki won't be with Tickford for the endurance races. That's not a big surprise there. They seem to have come as a package with that, uh, that sponsorship deal the last couple of years. Um, my big question then is, you know, with no full-time ride available for either of them this year, will we see them try and run, you know, depending on what happens with the wildcards, whether they're only allowed to run one uh, during the year or whether, you know, things change and they're back to allowing to run multiple wildcards, could we see, you know, a, a reformation of Kostecki Brothers at racing um, and, you know, they run a couple of wildcards each and then team up together uh, for the season, the season of endurance uh, with Sandown and Bathurst. Uh, yeah, that, that's my prediction at the moment. And, you know, maybe they might take over the, the car that Peter Addison was supposed to be buying, which, you know, may or may not be happening. Um, yeah, just, just putting uh, two and two together here and getting 17. As for Zach Best, who a lot of people I've seen on the internet um, are, are not very happy that he's been overlooked for that drive. Obviously, his uh, budgetary package was not not quite the same as Decker's. Um, also, I just 
Decker seemed to be a little bit more consistent last year than what Zach did. Now, maybe that was an equipment thing, um, but if you did have to make the move up uh, with one of those guys, I would be leaning towards Decker. He, he did look a little bit more complete, like... To me, Zach looks like he needs another year in Super 2, um, which obviously he isn't getting this year, but it uh, looks like he will be running at least one wild card still with Tickford, and then he's got the Enduro co-drive there with uh, yeah, a yet-to-be-announced partner. So that's it for the news this week. Um, it is great to see the Gen 3 content coming out from the teams. Um, if you haven't already checked it out, uh, I can highly recommend uh, Brad Jones Racing YouTube channel. There's not much content on there, but they've been uh, releasing some uh, Gen 3 videos just explaining the differences with the new cars compared to the old cars. Um, they're nice, short, sharp videos as well. You don't need to invest a lot of time to watch them, which is uh, really impressive from uh, the, you know, the Brad Jones Racing guys. Um, Brad, Brad and Macaulay are doing the presenting um, on this channel as well. Keep an eye out. I have been working on some script for some special videos, uh, hoping to line up a couple of interviews as well in the coming uh, weeks and months. Also, um, moving in here, I got to do a stock take on the mugs that I have left. Uh, there's, there's a few, some not many, but I do want to clear them out uh, to try and get some more merch in because um, I've got limited room in here to store things. So uh, I do want to clear them out. I'm doing $15 posted within Australia. Um, if you are in Metro Melbourne and I can drop it off while I'm uh, doing my work during the day, um, just $10, drop me an email, dave at supercarstalk.com um, and I'll shoot you through the uh, payment details of your choice. Um, the mugs that are still available uh, the Scaife, Murphy and Ambrose ones are uh, the Supercars Torque ones that are still available and I've also got that uh, famous Michael Massey um, I can't remember off the top of my head uh, the, 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 we went motor racing Toto um, the backseat drivers one that's still available too uh, so yeah drop me an email if you are interested in grabbing one and supporting the channel um, and speaking of backseat drivers uh, if you have been watching that on Thursday nights we won't be streaming that on this channel this year uh, it will just purely be on its own dedicated channel so uh, down in the comments uh, check check the link and uh, subscribe to that so you don't miss out on any episodes um, we'll probably be kicking that off at some point next month uh, before the f1 season starts um, also, down in the comments, do you think that Richie will be using the Triple Eight gig as a stepping stone to a full-time ride, or do you think he'll be quite happy to just kind of do the two to three races each year and collect some silverware? And um, if it was your choice, would you pick Zach Best or Declan Fraser for your drive? Uh, and let's not consider who has the bigger financial package. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, once again, until next time, I'm still Dave and I'll catch you later.